this is fire pink. Uh, one in, it's in the pink family or carnation family. Um, and uh, it's one of the really striking spring flowers because of the bright, flat, bright red uh, petals, which, uh, by the way, would attract hummingbirds uh, and some butterflies. The um, petals, as you can see, are notched. Uh, and it looks like they form a tube, but in fact they're separate down inside this green tube. The green tube is actually formed by the sepals which are fused. Um, and we call that fused uh, sepal structure the calyx. Uh, you'll notice in this case we have um, the stamen sticking out. Um, and it looks like there are about 10 stamens <coughs> total uh, <coughs> coming out there sort of a dark reddish brown color um, and what's interesting is it appears that the flowers actually are either male or female and um, <coughs> in the male flower the stamens are uh, well developed and stick out where they can be uh, caught by the, the pollinator. Here you have three little things sticking up those are the styles, and the tips are uh, are sticky to catch pollen. Uh, so that's a female flower, uh, and the stamens are not developed. They're sort of just all shriveled up down inside, um, but the ovary is well developed in this particular uh, plant. Um, this family, as we've seen with the chickweeds, have opposite leaves and um, okay, so if you look at the stems, you'll notice that they look sort of fuzzy. Uh, well, that's because it's, they're covered with uh, hairs that at the tips of the hairs are uh, sort of sticky secretions, and uh, so we call those glandular hairs, um, and they give the plant a sort of sticky or clammy feeling. Um, so in fact, some of the plants that have those are sort of called clammy uh, catchfly or something like that.